The Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus runs Android 11, which at the time of this recording can be rooted. In this video I will explain how to do it step by step. I will only explain the root process itself and will follow up on root related apps like a firewall in the next video. I hope this makes the process a little less intimidating for first timers and also helps to improve the overview. So make sure to sub to the channel to not miss the next video on how to benefit from root access by using a firewall and improve data privacy on the device. So even if you watch it months or even years into the future after I recorded it, you should be able to follow the instructions if Onyx didn't put any new restrictions in place. The actual rooting process is not too complicated. I'd suggest you watch the video first to get a rough overview of what's needed to be done and only then start the rooting process with a second run through. I've tested the process myself a couple of times and had no problems. But as always, with anything root related, following the instructions in this video is done at your own risk. Please also consider subscribing if you find this video useful to help out the channel and to not miss future reviews, comparisons and tutorials like this. To get root access, we need to perform the following steps. Download the latest firmware, decrypting the downloaded firmware, dumping the contents of the decrypted firmware, patching the boot image, testing the boot image and permanently rooting the device. All of the steps can be done on Windows and Linux and are basically the same on both operating systems. I will explain how to do it on a Windows machine. Before patching the device, make sure the battery of the Note Air 2 Plus is fully charged. Then download the needed files. Python for Windows, the actual update, the decrypt books update script, the payload dumper script, ADP and fastboot, Magisk for Android, and the hidden Android settings opener. You can find all of the links in the description below and I have also prepared a package with all the needed tools. I also want to point out that these tools were not created by me and that I just make use of them. So a big thanks to everyone who creates and maintains these tools and makes root access possible. So let's start. Before changing the firmware, we need to download and install Python. Python is a coding language and we need Windows to run the Python scripts needed to extract the boot image. Open the Python website, download the latest version and install it on your machine. After doing so, open the Windows command prompt. You can do that with hitting the Windows key plus R on the keyboard and then typing CMD and hitting enter. So Windows R CMD enter. Now in the command prompt, type the following command to install the Pi CryptoTome package for Python. Next, go to the link in the description below to get the JSON file with the needed download link for the firmware. Open the link in your browser and you will see an object named download URL list. Open it and copy and paste the link to the update UPX file to your browser. You're now downloading the firmware. Next, we need to decrypt the downloaded firmware. For that, you need to download the decrypt books update script. Copy the script and the firmware into the same folder. Decrypt the update file by running the following command. It will take a second and then you will get an update.zip file, which you can extract using 7-zip, WinRAR or just using the Windows built-in zip extraction. Inside is a payload.bin file. In this file is the needed boot image. To get it, we need to dump the contents of the payload file. There are a couple of scripts floating around and the one which constantly worked best for me was the payload dumper go for Windows. That ran without a hitch and gave me the needed boot image. To use the Windows script, simply drop the payload bin file onto the exe file. In the resulting pop-up window, you can see the extraction process. From all the files extracted, we only need the boot image. And that were the most difficult steps. Now that we got the boot image, we are going to patch it with Magisk to get root access. Now copy the boot image to the internal storage of the Books Note Air 2 Plus. Download Magisk from GitHub and install it on your Books Note Air 2 Plus. Don't download Magisk from anywhere else than the official repository. So let's do that. We're downloading it from the GitHub page. 
getting the latest version and let's wait for the download to finish that's it opening the apk file and installing it so let's wait a second and the app is installed and let's open it so we have opened the magisk app so now that we have magisk installed and opened we need to batch the boot image by selecting the file so we're doing that by clicking install and select and patch the file next which opens up our file list next we navigate to the boot image we have copied to the device before clicking the boot image file and now we have selected it and click let's go this can take a few minutes so let's wait for this to finish up and then continue so that's it you get a success message with the new file name of the patched boot image now copy the patched boot image from the download folder from your onyx books node air 2 plus to your computer so we're doing that so what we have to do next is enable usb debugging with adb and to do that we need to install a settings app there are a couple of different ones out there and I've chosen the open hidden settings app because it doesn't need any additional permissions. I got it from APK Pure but you can also get it from the Play Store as well if you're using it. So install it and then open it like we're doing now and that will bring up the Android settings. Go to the about tablet section and scroll down to the bottom. So we're doing that. About tablet, scroll down to the bottom to the build number and tap that line a couple of times and after five taps you get access to the android developer settings so now we need to enable usb debugging and actually start the boot image so let's get back one step open the system section open the advanced settings and open the developer options now scroll down to the usb debugging option and enable it and click ok and that's it on the Note Air 2 Plus for now. So next we need to test the boot image we have created. So download ADB and Fastboot and extract the files into a folder of your choice. Copy the batched boot image into that folder. Now open the command line same as before and switch to the folder you just extracted ADB into and run the command line ADB devices to check if the ADB connection is working. If you haven't done so in the past, you need to install ADB drivers first and link it to the ADB device in the Windows device settings. So I'm doing that on my machine here and just pause the video at any point if you need a second. After installing the drivers, run the command ADB devices again to see if it's now working. If that's the case, you get a pop-up on your Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus, which asks for the computer to allow access to the device. And we're going to check the checkbox, always allow access from this computer and click the allow button. And now again, we are running ADB devices on our computer and we get a list of the attached devices, which is actually the books Note Air 2 Plus. And now we can run the command ADB Reboot Bootloader. And that puts the Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus directly into the bootloader. So let's do that. ADB Reboot Bootloader. And as you can see, the Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus automatically reboots on that command. And now, still in the Windows comment prompt, we run the command fastboot devices to see if the Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus is recognized. And we get a success message. And if you don't get one, you most likely need to link the ADB drivers again, same as shown before. And after doing that, unplug the tablet for a second and plug it back in. Now run the command fastboot devices again and see if you get an output. And now it's time to boot our rooted boot image. Run the following command and wait for the device to reboot. With that command, you simply boot the new boot image without permanently flashing it. So that's a pretty safe way to see if everything is working. 
If not, simply restart the device by holding the power button for a couple of seconds. In that case, check if the previous steps all worked without any problems, especially the extraction of the boot image and rooting it with matches. Try to do those steps again if the Note Air 2 Plus doesn't boot. Don't be alarmed, the boot up with a rooted boot image takes a little longer than usual. If the tablet booted with the rooted boot image, you can go ahead and check if root access is actually available. So let's open Magisk and see what it says in the upper section. If you see a version number at the installed section, everything worked as expected. Now you can go ahead and make the root access permanent. The quickest way is to simply use the Magisk app to do that for you. Open the app and now let it install the root access directly. Since you have temporarily rooted the device already, by booting up the rooted boot image, Magisk can now make the changes needed to make root access permanent. Don't worry, this can take a moment, just let the process run. Let the device reboot afterwards. The booting process then again will take a little longer than before, but that's normal and nothing to worry about. And that's it. Now you have rooted your Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus and can go ahead and use a firewall or any other app that requires root access. I will follow up on that in a future video, so make sure to subscribe to not miss it. Also leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Thanks for time watching, have fun with the rooted ink tablet and see you in the next one.